Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Ewan Griffiths. I'm a consultant surgeon from the Queen Elizabeth Hospital uh, in Birmingham. I'd just like to thank the organisers of the ASGBI uh, for asking me to talk about uh, adhesion prevention. Does laparoscopic surgery really prevent readmissions with adhesion related complications? Uh, this is the outline of my talk. Uh, I'm going to give you a uh, background on adhesions. Uh, I'm going to talk about the previous SCAR studies and the methodology. Uh, really is a build up to talk about the SCAR update study, which I was, which I was involved in, which was published in the Lancet uh, last year. And really to summarize the literature evidence for why laparoscopic surgery is a preventative factor in the development of adhesions. Uh, adhesions are pathological fibrous connections between surfaces within body cavities. Uh, they most commonly affect the peritoneal cavity, but they can affect others such as pericardial, pleural uh, and joint cavities. Uh, whilst they can be congenital, they're most commonly acquired. Uh, and the most common cause is obviously post-operative surgery uh, and rates of 70 to 85% are described. They can be due to inflammatory conditions, however, uh, and this includes pelvic inflammatory disease, endometriosis, uh, diverticulitis, appendicitis, uh, and anything that can cause pus or perforations in the abdomen uh, can cause adhesions. Uh, and other causes can be radiotherapy or tumor related. Uh, and this is a laparoscopic image of a, an adhesive uh, small bowel stuck to the, the abdominal wall, and the surgeons are uh, taking down the adhesions. Uh, laparoscopically. They can be worse than this, however, and we all have horrendous stories of matted and horrible adhesions. Uh, for research, we can use the peritoneal adhesion index, uh, and this is where the abdomen is divided into to the quadrants uh, anatomically, and adhesions are classified into no adhesions, filmy adhesions, which can be easily separated by blunt dissection, stronger adhesions, which require sharp dissection but don't cause the surgeon much trouble and then the third group is very strong vascularized adhesions which require sharp dissection uh, and damage is almost uh, inevitable in this category. We all know that post-operative adhesions are a common cause of long-term complications after surgery. Uh, they cause small bowel obstruction related to female infertility they also cause chronic abdominal and pelvic pain. And they do present difficulties to the surgeon at reoperation with uh, long reoperation re times, high risk of enterotomy, uh, and in the worst case scenario, uh, intracutaneous fistula formation. Interesting, the previous studies uh, have shown that only about 10% of surgeons warn patients of this potential complication. And this obviously has significant medical legal ramifications. Adhesions in laparoscopic surgery. Well, it's long been thought that uh, laparoscopic surgery would be associated with less adhesion formation. And this has been shown in small case series. Uh, however, it's biased by missing follow-up. Uh, in particular, patients getting readmitted to other hospitals. Uh, and therefore, uh, we really need population-based studies to look at this important problem. Uh, we all know that a large proportion of adhesions occur in open surgery uh, are behind the laparotomy incision and that lapar laparoscopic surgery to some extent avoids these. Uh, uh, and as, as suggested area, earlier, uh, small retrospective series are going to uh, undercount patients presenting to other hospitals uh, and we need long follow-up periods uh, to, to look at this issue. And that's why we need large population-based studies uh, to look at this important problem. And the SCAR studies were one such of these studies. Uh, SCAR uh, stood for uh, Surgical and Clinical Adhesions uh, Research Group. Uh, and they, they, they did the first large population-based studies on this topic. Uh, and they, they produced multiple publications using very similar methodology uh, on general surgery, colorectal surgery, and gynecology. 
uh, and, and th these, these studies uh, are over two decades old, um, but we repeated the methodology in the SCAR update study. Uh, so the, the methodology was of this, it was uh, based on Scottish NHS data using a, a linkage data set which covered the whole of Scotland. Scotland has a population of 5.5 million and is a very stable uh, population with low migration rates. And, and the data set uh, allowed link, linkage to previous hospital admissions and had, had details on previous operations performed. So it was ideal to look at this important issue. And in, in all the SCAR studies, adhesion-related readmissions were classified into those directly adhesion-related. And that's where there was evidence of adhesiolysis or uh, non-operative management of small bowel obstruction or adhesion-related complications. Possibly adhesion-related were those uh, abdominal or gynae surgery where it was possibly adhesion-related. Uh, and there was uh, also a group where there was non-operative admissions which were possibly related to adhesions. There was a third group where it could potentially be adhesion-related uh, and these were the evidence was less strong uh, and certainly not strong enough to be included in the directly or the possibly adhesion-related groups. And this is the landmark SCAR-1 study published in The Lancet in 1999 by Harold Ellis. Uh, it showed that uh, uh, readmission due to adhesions uh, was 21.1% in the first year. Uh, and there was a steady increase uh, over time. And this is the graph from that study, uh, really showing that one in three patients were readmitted to hospital at least twice, and 4.8% uh, had six or more uh, readmissions secondary to adhesions. The SCAR2 study was a smaller study, really just focused on uh, lower abdominal surgery and colorectal surgery in particular. Its main findings were that total colectomy and ileal pouch surgery uh, had a high rate of adhesion-related uh, complications. The SCAR two study, the SCAR three study, sorry, was a was a, a looking at a more recent cohort of patients uh, to see if modern surgical techniques had had any uh, reduced any morbidity of adhesions, but they showed no change in adhesion-related morbidity. Uh, the rates of laparoscopic surgery in this cohort was still quite low. The only extra finding in this study was that peritonitis increased the risk of adhesion-related readmission. <coughs> so does laparoscopic surgery reduce adhesion-related complications? So before moving on to the SCAR update study, there are two other uh, studies which support this hypothesis. Uh, one was from Denmark, uh, looked at uh, eight, and, eight and a half thousand patients, operated between uh, 2001 and 2008. This was in colorectal surgery, uh, and uh, in the median 8.8 .8 years of follow-up, 2.9% underwent surgery for, for uh, small bowel obstruction. Uh, and the rate at three years uh, overall was uh, 1.5%, uh, but it was much less in those that had laparoscopic surgery. Uh, and this was 1.2% after laparoscopic surgery and 1.6% uh, after open surgery. A larger study uh, using New York State data, again in colorectal surgery. This had uh, just over 69,000 patients um, operated between 2003 and 2010. And this again showed that open surgery was associated with a higher risk of small bowel obstruction or operations for small bowel obstruction. And this is the SCAR update study that which, which, which I was involved in, published last year in the Lancet. Uh, looked at uh, 72, just over 72,000 patients. 30% of these had laparoscopic uh, procedures. Again, the, the rate of readmission for adhesion-related causes was high, uh, an overall rate of, of 30%. Uh, 
and there's vast differences between the open and laparoscopic groups. Here's the Kaplan markers for the direct adhesion related admissions, uh, showing much higher rates for open surgery uh, at uh, 60 months of uh, over 40%. Uh, compared to about 15% in the laparoscopic group. And again, the possibly related to adhesions, readmissions were high in the open group uh, and reoperations potentially complicated by adhesions, much higher in open, open surgery. Really showing the benefits of laparoscopic uh, operations. And this is the multivariate analysis. Uh, other factors which were important were age, uh, women had a high rate of uh, adhesions. Surgery for <coughs> malignancy was associated with less adhesions. Uh, and the, there was a difference in operation types with highest rates, again, shown in colorectal surgery uh, compared to uh, liver surgery or cholecystectomy. In real terms, uh, in the five-year readmission rate for different operations. Uh, this was as high as 11% in rectal surgery, 10.1% uh, in colon surgery, uh, and only 2.9% in liver surgery, compared to 1.3% uh, in cholecystectomy. In all of these operations, laparoscopic surgery reduced uh, readmission rates due to adhesions. Uh, just so we're not talking about our own research, this is another st study published in the Annals of Surgery, um, looking at uh, population-based analysis of adhesive small bowel obstruction. This used California state data between 1995 and 2010. They looked at five operative operations, including rheumoid bypass, cholecystectomy, colectomy, appendicectomy, and hysterectomy. This is a massive study of 1.6 million patients with a median follow-up of 6.3 years. They excluded patients at high risk of adhesion-related complications, including previous surgery, inflammatory bowel disease, and pelvic inflammatory disease, really to specifically look at whether uh, laparoscopic surgery was associated with an advantage. And here are the this, the, the Kaplan Meyer curves really showing that colectomy had the highest rate of readmissions with adhesions, followed by ruin Y bypass uh, and lesser risk with hysterectomy, cholecystectomy, and appendicectomy. The other findings were the hazard ratios showed much higher rates of readmission in the first two years, uh, confirming the results of the, the, the SCAR study. Looking at the individual operative classifications um, of colectomy, bypass, cholecystectomy, appendicectomy, and hysterectomy, the rates of uh, readmissions were much lower in patients having laparoscopic surgery. And again, the, the hazard ratios for these uh, showed that um, the, the risk was mainly in the first two years. Uh, apart from an hysterectomy, where it's slightly increased uh, from year seven upwards in, in the laparoscopic group. So what is the mechanism of this potential advantage with laparoscopic surgery? Well, we think it's due to the reduction in injury to the peritoneal surfaces. Uh, one hypothesis for this is that uh, animal models uh, show that CO2 insufflation has some anti-inflammatory properties, uh, and there's definitely a reduction in abdominal wall incision adhesions from laparoscopic surgery, probably just simply related into the size of the incision. Uh, we know that there are a variety of factors at play here, uh, including the type of surgery, the extent of surgery, but also possibly the surgical skill and, and manipulation. But there's also other factors that require further research, such as the actual type of gas, the inflation pressure, the gas flow, temperature, humidity, and all the local changes that occur on the peritoneal surface with hypoxia, tissue disrupt disruption, 
uh, acidosis and alteration of uh, mesothelial cells and inflammation. And all this is rich for further research. So in summary, uh, adhesions are a, a, a massively important cause of long-term complications after surgery. Uh, whilst I've not touched on the economic aspect, uh, the economic aspect for the NHS is massive. Previous studies have shown that the costs uh, are, are about 16,000 euros for operative treatment of small bowel obstruction uh, and uh, uh, just over 2,000 euros for non-operative treatment. And that doesn't even go into things like chronic pain, infertility, and all the other complications adhesions can cause. So there's, there's, there's much more research needs to be carried out in this area, looking at other preventative uh, treatments for adhesions, such as adhesive barriers uh, and other aspects. We, we've clearly shown that laparoscopic surgery reduces the risk of readmission due to adhesions. Uh, and I'd, I'd urge all uh, surgeons to consent patients for these long-term post-operative risks. These are the references for all the, the papers I've used in preparing these slides. Uh, and finally, I'd just like to thank the SCAR Update team uh, for involving me in their research. Uh, and if anybody's got any questions on this talk, I'm very happy to be emailed uh, or please do contact me through Twitter. Uh, and thanks for the opportunity uh, of presenting.